What up everybody, I just got back from holiday where I had a very fun time with my girlfriend in Santorini and Mykonos. However, while I was there, I saw a little tweet claiming the people who have had skins or stickers put into the game have now been given CS2 beta access. It turns out that tweet was 100% true and here I am in. CS2. It's so good. Obviously, I have played it on other people's accounts, but it feels so, so good to finally have access myself and have all my own skins and have it on my own account. For all of you who don't have it yet, I feel sorry for you, but I'm just happy that I finally, finally have it. Oh, and a quick little side note. While I was in Mykonos, I got my hair cut. Do you like it? The barbershop I went to, Fade Stories, he'd only recently opened for a couple of months and it turned out he was a big CSGO fan and we had lots of epic chats while he was cutting my hair about the pro scene. He didn't know me, he didn't know much about YouTube, but I'm gonna leave his business down below because I'm all about supporting small businesses. He absolutely killed it on my haircut. It was a great, great experience. And maybe we as a community can help show him some love as a fellow CSGO enthusiast. He doesn't exactly need a boost to his review. Views. He's only got 41 so far and he's got a 4.9 out of 5. Super cool guy and I wish him the best of luck with his newly opened barbershop. If you're in Mykonos yourself, make sure to check it out. However, I am getting a little distracted. CS2 is weird. Have a look at this. This is the Eye of Horus. Pretty sure it shouldn't look like this. So on the skin side of things, there are definitely a few glitches still in the game. And today, I will be playing on my own account on Mirage with a twist. Obviously, you can tell, I think, by the title. I'm taking my CSGO series. Every single skin I see, I have to buy and give away to you guys. And I'm porting it straight into CS2. Because I've been on holiday, I haven't actually given away all the skins from the last video. So I have all of these still to give away. It was a super expensive video last time. There's Vulcans, there's Gungnirs. I'll give these all away right at the end of the video and I'll timestamp it for you. But for now, it is time to do some skin spotting of our own. Short match, Mirage, and on my own account, this is gonna be fun. I'm guessing all the people with CS2 Beta Access, they probably have pretty good skins as well, so this could end up being a superly expensive video once again. Oh, this sense is, uh, feels a little bit too high. We haven't even got developer console enabled. What's that all about? I'm gonna read a lot of comments already. Hey, Sparkles, where's your knife? Hey, Sparkles, where's your skins? Why are you using all the default ones? Well, I also had to give away a hell of a lot of skins from the trade offers video, and that's why I've put everything else into storage so I don't get confused and so I don't give away any of my personal skins. That explains why I don't have any skins. Oh, this new buy menu is so weird. I forgot that actually before I got into game, I had to decide which five of the category that I wanted. So I guess I'm stuck with these for now, but they don't even look too bad. As long as I got an all, I'm happy. We've already seen an AK Asimov. We've already seen an AK Nightwish. We've already seen a stat track or capillary. I don't know what that MP9 is, but oh, we've already seen an orb red line. This is probably not a good idea. There's so many sick skins in here. Hello, the editor here. Seems like we missed a Deagle print stream and on this scene, a USB print stream. Oh, I saw, yeah, that you could shoot through this. You could shoot through the tiny gaps of this and not even break the vent. I mean, that's such a nice added detail. I absolutely love it. The radar looks really crazy as well. Ting and beast, I presume it might be a bit of a bee rush. Look at these smokes, dude. I couldn't be happier to be playing CS2 right now. I need to change my crosser. My crosshair is absolutely awful. It's not gonna do whatsoever. Can I talk through the smoke? No, I can't. We have a USPS Cortex as well. Thankfully, he doesn't have a knife. We also got a FAMAS Neutral Net and a Statrek Cyrex. It looks pretty battle scarred. I really need to get used to the buying menu because I'm not even buying Kevlar. I'm just forgetting. Is it me or is the org equally as sick as it was in CSGO? No, no, don't be peeking me like that. The Desert Eagle Mecha Industries. Oh, we also got an M4A1S print stream. That is a nice one. <laughs> is it me or does the print stream look a little less cool in CS2? I swear it used to have a lot more of like a color shift when you changed it around and now it looks like it's faded a little bit. Oh no! Oh no, Damascus steel bowie knife is that? We got a flashback in Stat Track as well. Oh, this guy's got an awkward mob. Don't think we saw that one yet. The Damascus steel patterns 
I swear they never used to look like that. That is absolutely wild. That looks more like a hypnotic pattern. Double orc peak. Oh, oh, everyone's dead, apart from me. Oh, how is that not a hit? Acid fade, we've got an acid fade in there. M4A4 Urban DD pat. I think we haven't had that one yet. Oh, so Stat Track Orc Phobos as well. And you can get little animated display pictures. Look at that down the bottom. How's he, how's he done that? We rusty as hell, so we got to resort to our silver true self. <laughs> Look at that, that's terrible. It's time to bring out the P90. I can't get over this P90 model change. It looks absolutely bizarre to me. It's like something straight out of Call of Duty. Let's go P90 rush. The reflections on the floor in here looks super cool. Only one top mid. I don't want to alert him. I think he's dead. I think he's dead. He's not dead. Oh, look at that. Ooh, the Arctic wolf. It's pretty cool as well. Not our strongest first half. Let's have a better second half. What is that Tech 9? I'm sure once again, my editor, absolute legend, Yeti, he's got you. Hello, that Tech 9 is the bamboozle. And also, we missed the Star Trek Clock Warhawk. Use this little angle. I'll never see it coming. Might be useful to plant the bomb, my dude. Fuck some. <laughs> Definitely gonna be some in kitchen and they won't see this angle coming. It's next level. And they're not gonna see it coming, they're not gonna check this. Yeah, not checked. Terrible aim. The old hide. Oh, so close. So I nearly redeemed myself from my shocking score. Hi, while he was clutching, he missed the Black Lotus and a Cortex. It's weird that you can no longer see the damage in the console as well. That is a habit that I'm going to have to get rid of. Oh, that's a molly. We can't stand in that. Epic recoil control. There's like a follow recoil option in the crosshair options. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what that is. I actually might turn it on right now just to see what that is. Follow recoil, yes. I get a little spray going on. Oh my goodness. What is that? <laughs> what is The crosshair bounces all up. Sorry, I got the bomb. I got the bomb. bomb. That shake is crazy. Anyway, he missed the MP9 modest threat, M4 desert space, and an AKSE. The crosshair bounces more than like Nicki Minaj in the strip club. That is absolutely ridiculous. Are the pros using this feature? I doubt it. You guys have follow recoil on or off. Talkative team, talkative team. Star Trek Uncharted. I'm not sure we had that one yet either. Some of these new gun models uh, well and truly freak me out. This follow recoil is really quite strange. Can he do it? 3v1 clutch, 13 HP for the game. All right, I'm gonna go for the short plant because he's not on A. We call this one the around the world. So I go all the way to short. I hope he just doesn't defuse the bomb without me knowing. I go for the one versus three for the game clutch on my first ever game in CS2. Let's get it. Never see it coming. It's gonna work. There we go, GG. Oh, we missed that Nova and possibly this P90 as well. I can't get a very good look at it on this angle. Well, these are all of the skins that we saw in that game and all of the skins I'm giving away this video down below in the comments. Encrypt your trade link or put your normal trade link in there, depending on whether you want to risk getting contacted by a whole bunch of scammers. And the next episode, I'll give all of the skins that we saw away to you guys. Hopefully make some of you guys happy. Let's get all of these skins from our last video out of this storage container. Give them all away to you guys. Let's give away the death rattle which is not the most expensive skin. The Glock Vogue, which is pretty badass, and also the Black Lotus. Let's choose our first winner. Not Spooderman. Oh, it's a cat that looks surprisingly like a cat right in front of me right now. J1, Death Rattle, Vogue, and Lotus. Let's roll it again, get some more winners. Someone riding a bike. You got the other Vogue, and you got a Step Trek Cortex. It's time for more winners. Who's it gonna be? Oh, no it's not. Let's roll that one again. Is it P? Oh, it's not. You can have this Stat Track Cortex in minimal wear and this Desert Eagle Oxide Blaze. Let's get it rolled. Ooh, hats and cards. A man after my own heart. You can have this Deagle, this Famas, 
this AK, and another fan. They see me rolling lucky four-leaf clover actually coming in clutch. Congratulations, my dude. You got quite a few skins coming your way because they're not the best tier, so making you a whole new inventory here. More winners. Ooh, little animated one. You don't see animated prop as much, Mr. J. You can have this AK-47 Uncharted, this Glock Moonrise, and this USPS Looper. Hoping I'm making lots of people happy here with the free skin giveaways as per normal. Jackson Stone. You look like you're in some kind of flight simulator there. You got yourself a very nice front sight Misty. An Uncharted and I think we're gonna go Vulcan. We're gonna go Vulcan. We're gonna go three times AKs for you. Let's roll it again. Let's give away more skins. Pikachu, it is Pikachu. You, my friend, are getting the AK-47 case hardened. Sick. Six skin. It's just for your love of Pokemon that you're getting rewarded with that. Oh, and this guy's got a love for cats, Ricky. You can get the Red Lion, oh, one of my favorite AK skins, the Bullet Rain. These come with stickers, by the way. You're not just getting the skins, but also stickers and the blueprint. Not that many skins left to give away. Let's see who the winner's gonna be. The Huntsman, Damascus, Steel, Enjoy it. We're coming up to the Gungnir. I'm not entirely sure if it is next. The cat, oh, it's not the cat. Despite it not being a cat, here you go, buddy. Free or Gungnir for you. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. I might add you just to make sure you don't get scammed. Wonder if this is you, Mr. JR. Uh, you're making it rain already. Maybe you can now, oh, you do have a cat. Okay, you do have a cat. I don't feel so bad about sending this to you now. Enjoy your free or Gungnir. All 35 skins have now been given away. The Orc Gungnir was the very final one from the list. All of the offers have now been sent out. Hell of a lot of lucky winners. And obviously, I will continue to do these skin giveaways. I'll continue to just give away stupid amounts of skins. You guys give me so much. It is my absolute pleasure to give back to you. Thank you everyone so, so much for watching. Let's say 15k likes and we'll do this all over again. Once again, in CS2. Super excited to finally have access on my own account and I'll catch all of you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.